Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Okay, well, I just came out and did a whole intro. Evidently, my camera was on manual focus, so that didn't work at all. We were coming out to check these chicks because it was like 27 degrees last night. <coughs> we had the heat lamp on, and uh, they're all fine. They were in two separate huddles, so here they are. They're just kind of chilling and chilling some more probably because they're not used to this cold but they're feathered out they are doing really good growing good they need to have their feeder dumped and refilled over here are the goats and the calves and the sheep they're all doing good the modified hay feeder seems to be working well Yep, they're doing really good. Down there's all the lambs looking this way. <laughs> so, but everybody's doing real good. There's Hopi and Lydia Grace. All right, well, let's go see what the girls are up to. Here they come, busting out. to clean that coop out again you gotta shovel it back out all right prop the door open kylie i mean lydia i keep calling you kylie this morning you know who you are and who i mean all right well there's that here are the cows munching on hay from yesterday they've got so much hay on the ground I'm not sure I'm going to feed them today. I'm going to keep an eye on them through the day and see how they're doing with it, but I don't want to waste it. There's a lot laying there from yesterday still. So there's some grass coming in, and I noticed yesterday they kept leaving their hay and going off and grazing what grass there's coming in and then coming back to the hay. So let's see how the day goes with that. I'll keep you posted. Frost over there where the sun hasn't shown yet. There's the garden down there where we cleaned all that up. That bucket's the boys. They go down there and fish and catch minnows and crawdads and stick in it and then turn them loose. So that's why that's there. Okay, y'all. Several things on the agenda today. Somebody gifted us this canoe, a friend of ours. Um, I didn't know he was bringing it. He just said, hey, I've got something I'm going to drop off at your house. I was gone. So I said, okay. And this is what it was. It's a very nice canoe it's a very expensive canoe and it would be fun for us to to have this but it's busted right here which i just discovered and inside it there's a huge bubble in it right here like this i, I guess i don't know if it was cold and somebody dropped something on it or what but uh like if you can see the bottom is caved in right here so i'm going to try to pop this back out I've been waiting until I got my saws and things out. My plan is to cut a piece of lumber to span from here to here and go up underneath these, I think they're called gunnels or gunwales or something, I don't know. And then a piece of lumber here with a piece between the two to push this back down. And I'm just gonna let it set out in the sun and hopefully between the sun heating it and the uh, being pushed back down, it'll just reform it. It's the only thing I know to do. This crack I can plastic weld. That's that's not a big deal. Um, it's a shame that it's cracked, but but yeah, I can definitely plastic weld that. So anyway, we're gonna do that. We're gonna build some garden beds for a job that I have to do, and or well, we're gonna do the outdoor beds. I've got to do an inside bed too. It's gonna look more like a piece of furniture, but I'm waiting on my poplar strips to be done 
for that so um can't can't do the inside one until i get those but anyway let's let's work on this canoe and see what we can figure out okay y'all i have made my cuts i think i've got them right uh this stuff is really tough it's polypropylene i think polypropylene or polyethylene i can't remember but i think it's polypropylene i'll have to research before i do the plastic welding because i'll have to use the right heat and uh the right plastic material but um I'm, my, my plan is to build like a wedge, like a shim, to prop this back down and then flip it upside down and let it sit in the sun. And hopefully it will work. I might actually um, set it on something and put some more weight into the bottom of it right here. I've got some 40 pound bags of quick creep that I might set on these sides. Well, let's see how this works first. I called the manufacturer and they, they uh, didn't offer a whole lot of help. Okay, that's popped down already and it's staying, so that's a good sign. Okay, so we've got the main, whatever this is called. I don't know what the parts of a canoe are called. But we've got this popped back out where it looks really close to, to a factory. We've got a concave spot here and one up here. So my plan is to take, I've got some heavy bags of quickcrete. I'm gonna put this on sawhorses on each end and then put a bag of quickcrete here and then one there. And see if that will push it down. The other option or thought I have is to maybe fill it with water. And maybe that weight of the water would push it back down. That's not a bad idea actually. Hmm. It's not a bad idea, is it, Hopi? Let's try the quick creep first. That would be the easiest thing to do if it works. At first, I was like, man, what am I gonna do with the canoe? But then, the more I think about it, the more excited about it I am. Because this, this could be a lot of fun for us. I mean, obviously we can't all fit in it at the same time, but, but uh, I mean, me and Jack and the two boys maybe could go or you know we could just rotate the kids out when we go to the creek and swim or something but this this will be a lot of fun if i can get it repaired daddy can i go with you can you go with me yeah. to the creek or in the canoe, in the canoe. maybe we'll see I Okay, y'all. Well, we got that popped back out. That was kind of a spur of the moment decision to work on that, but um, I really think that that'll work. I hope it does, because it's, I looked them up, that's like a $2,200 canoe. And I mean, I'd hate to just not be able to use it. So, well, hopefully, what my plan is, I'm hoping that the sun will come out now sometime this week or just whenever. I mean, it can live there for a while. But whenever the sun comes out and just bakes on it and gets it good and hot, then it'll just kind of reform to the shape where we've popped it back out. We'll just have to wait and see what actually happens with it. Next on the list today is going to be to build these garden beds. So we're going to bring the lumber over here. I'm going to build them on my trailer because I have found this is a very nice, perfect height for me to work at. Better than crawling around on the ground. So we're going to build them on the trailer and uh, hopefully it goes well.
And remember the other day in one of my previous videos, I said I was out of my two and three eighths inch nails and I would just get some some other time. Now's the time. We're headed to the store to buy some two and three eighths inch nails because I don't want to waste a bunch of my three and a half on that. So here we go. All right, Jacob. Jacob's going to get his popsicle. All right, we're back from the store. We got a horse feed here. I've got my nails. They had them on clearance for like $18 a box for 2,500 nails. So I bought a couple extra boxes because that is way, way cheaper than normal. So that's pretty exciting. So I've had a change of plans. I My lumber was not... Um, I, I guess there was a miscommunication that I wanted all 1x6s or all 1x8s. But that's not what I've got. I've got a mix of both. So I have to make my my beds, since they're going to be both out front of this restaurant, they both have to be 1x6 boards because one can't be 1x8s and one 1x6. One it would look funny. So I've got to rip the 1x8s down to make them 1x6s. And hopefully I have enough lumber here to make all that work. I'm pretty sure I do, but we're going to find out here in a minute. y'all this is gonna be the ending for day three video I didn't do an ending yesterday because at like three o'clock Hopi brought me a banana and I was sitting over here on the glider rocker for a second taking a break and I ate the banana because I thought this would be a good little snack and she was so cute and happy to bring it to me well like six months ago I had eaten a banana and had a slight tummy ache afterwards I didn't I mean it you know maybe like for 30 minutes my stomach didn't feel so good but I had kind of forgotten about it this time within like an hour of eating the banana I was quickly reminded of the last time I ate a banana and I had excruciating abdominal and stomach pain for like an hour the worst pain I've ever been in I mean it completely incapacitated me I had to just go in the camper and lay down in the bed and there was nothing I could do to feel better so evidently I cannot eat bananas for some reason I have developed an allergy to them or a sensitivity but it was nothing sensitive about this it, it was terrible pain I mean I was in cold sweats so then I still got really nauseated never did actually vomit but my goodness it was terrible so this is the ending for yesterday's video so to the best of my recollection, we worked on the canoe yesterday, uh, finished the first garden bed, which I'll show you in our next video. I ran out of lumber because there was a slight, I had a misunderstanding with my, with my uh, Sawyer guy. I, um, I don't guess I completely relayed, I didn't read his text back to me, so I misunderstood what I was getting. But um, it's okay because he's got some more, so I'll go get it today, hopefully today or tomorrow. But um, anyway... Here we are. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and also hit the little notification bell. That'll let YouTube, they'll start notifying you every time we upload a video. And uh, any questions or comments you have, we would love to hear from you. Just comment below. So y'all have a good day. Catch y'all later. <music>